More than 900 people were discovered to have been fatally shot in the region surrounding the Ukrainian capital following Russia's withdrawal, Ukraine police said Friday. Most of those civilians were simply executed, said Andriy Nevitov, who leads Kiev's regional police force. The bodies were abandoned in the streets or given temporary burials. Russia's defense ministry has vowed to increase missile strikes on Kiev after weeks in which the Ukrainian capital had begun to recover from Russian attacks. On Friday, U.S. officials said that the sinking of Russia's Moskva, the flagship of Putin's Black Sea Fleet, was caused by two Ukrainian Neptune missiles. Russia sent a formal diplomatic note to the United States warning that American and NATO shipments of the most sensitive weapons systems to Ukraine could bring unpredictable consequences and were adding fuel to the conflict. NBC News has not seen the note, but a White House official who has confirmed the contents of the note first reported by the Washington Post. This revelation comes as President Vladimir Putin suffered a fresh blow with the sinking of the Moskva, the flagship of his Black Sea Fleet. While a fierce battle raged for control of the key port city Mariupol in the southeast, Russia's defense ministry vowed to increase missile strikes on Kiev after weeks in which the Ukrainian capital had begun to recover from Russian attacks. Roads in Ukraine have been devastated by the war launched by Russia, which is causing a significant challenge in getting humanitarian aid to parts of the country, the United Kingdom defense ministry said Saturday. Ru Russian troops have made the damage worse by destroying bridges, employing landmines and abandoning vehicles along key routes as they withdrew from northern Ukraine, the defense ministry said in its daily update. At least 7.1 million people in Ukraine have been internally displaced, on top of the more than 4.5 million who have fled the country as refugees, the United Nations Humanitarian Office said this week. The war has caused a humanitarian crisis, officials have said. President Joe Biden's declaration this week that Russia is committing genocide in Ukraine raised concerns among some officials in his own government and has so far not been corroborated by information collected by U.S. intelligence agencies, according to senior administration officials. At the State Department, which is tasked with making formal determinations of genocide and war crimes through an independent legal process, Two officials said that Biden's seemingly offhand declaration during a domestic policy speech in Iowa on Tuesday made it harder for the agency to credibly do its job. U.S. intelligence agencies collect information when allegations are made of actions that could amount to genocide, but policymakers are the ones who actually decide whether to declare it. Intelligence reports on Ukraine currently do not support a genocide designation, officials said. Ten people have now died in a Russian attack on the northeastern Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, the governor said, an increase from the seven previously reported. A seven-month-old child is among the dead in Friday's attack, Ola Sinihubov, governor of the Kharkiv region, said on Telegram. He said Russian forces fired on a residential area of the city. Thirty-five people were hurt, he said. NBC News could not independently verify the claims. Russia has denied targeting civilians. Others, including the U.S., have accused Russian forces of committing war crimes, citing credible reports of indiscriminate attacks and the deliberate targeting of civilians.